Hi, today I'll be teaching you how to make your Zimbabwean slaw. What you would need is your sweet cabbage, um, carrots, your apples. Obviously we won't be using all of it, we'll probably end up using about four, three, it really depends how many people in your family there are, um, and mayonnaise. So, um, I've already washed my cabbage, but I didn't wash it properly, so I'll rewash it. But all we have to start off doing is peeling off our layers. So, I would peel off about, anyway, how you peel it off, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I will peel off about, I'll say about a healthy amount that covers your whole bowl. So I'm using my calendar right now and it's nearly to the top. So I would say about nine layers. I think the first place, Oh, the first memory I've had about, um, well, the first memory I had of trying the slaw was um, when I was about seven. Um, I would go to a lot of um, cookouts with my mom and we would have the slaw, but it was, I was seven and I just always thought that all slaws just tasted the same until, um, later on when I'm shopping by myself and um, you know, I'm trying to for the very first time and it just doesn't taste the same as the ones that I normally have. And then um, when I got to the age of probably 15, I was in Zimbabwe for a holiday and my auntie had made um, this slaw for me and it was totally different to the ones that we have in the UK, but it was totally the same ones that we would have at the cookouts. So then that's when I realized that like Zimbabweans have a different type of making certain things, which is fair enough. Like every, every country has a different way of making different things. So um, that's how I got to learn how to make this one. So I'm going to wash this. Um, I would say this is about nine layers so you probably only would need a nine layers so i'm going to wash this wash my apples wash my um my carrots and then i'll start cutting I also forgot to mention that um, you will probably only need, really and truly, it depends how many people that you have in your family, but um, nine layers of um, cabbage plus um, two carrots and four apples could feed about four people. So really and truly just take those measurements and just compare it to your family. So right now, this is how my calendar is looking. So I'm just going to wash this and then come back. Also, you will need to have a bowl. Um, I'm using this one right here. This is where I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna cut my um, cabbage, put it in um, this bowl, cut my apples, put it in this bowl, and I'll mix it up and then that's how I normally do it. I feel like at every cookout, there will be slaw. And I feel like that's just such an African thing to have because it's like, it goes well with everything. You could have rice and um, you always have to have slaw. You can have burgers and you know, there will be a slaw right there. So um, yeah, I feel like slaw is kind of like one of the most staple thing to have at a cookout if you're like African. 
So as I said, I made it into a burrito. Um, I'm just going to cut it up like this and then put it in my um, bowl. So this is a knife that I'll be using. We have special knives in this house. Um, don't ask me why. I actually, I think it's because it's so that it stays sharp and that it's so much more easier to like cut through everything. But this is the one that I use when it's um, when I'm cutting into lettuce or anything because it has a bit of like shape to it. So um, it kind of like brings out this waviness in it and it just makes everything look better. Actually, I'm quite happy with um, the width of how everything came out and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it. So after we finish cutting our cabbage, we then put it all in here, just like that. Um, there we go. Right. And then um, we then grab our two carrots um, I like to cut off the ends and then throw them in there um, and then do the same to the other one and then I feel like a lot of people would just cut them into slices However, I don't like my one to be crunchy. I like my one to be very um, soft. And I don't like the idea of like crunching into something hard when I'm having something. It's, it's really depends on who you are, but I don't like to feel like I have to bite into something hard when it comes to um, making the slaw. And I, and I think, to be honest, most people would actually agree with that. They just like it to sort of, go well in your mouth right so what i'm doing right now is peeling the first layer of skin um i wouldn't use the first layer of skin even though i've washed it it's just me i like to throw it in the bin um and then i would proceed to cut this and these um this thin is ideally how I like my carrots to be in my slaw I like to have my one at a handle so I'm able to um do it much more quicker I didn't know you can go back and forth with this. Oh, that's me. I never knew that. And then I just dump all of this into there. Just like that. I can't eat a meal without salad or some sort of vegetable at the side. It's just, just doesn't feel right. I always feel like I need to have some sort of side dish with it. Honestly, all of this shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes. This is perfect when like, you've got something on slow cook and like, you just wanna make sure that you've done anything so like dinner doesn't take that long. This is, the perfect task to do. So um I'm just gonna cut this again using my new method that I've learned. So I think that's enough carrots to just add into here. Get out my apples. Um and then I like to 
slice them in the middle first. Right, like that, and then turn them to their side or onto their backs, and then slice them sideways. Um, if you want to make these ones chunky, then go for it because, really and truly, this is the one that brings out that sweetness and that gives it that new, like that. What would you say? It's like almost uh oh kind of i was not expecting that taste the sweetness in um a slaw and i feel like carrots make that different i know a lot of people like to add in um onions and uh maybe some people actually like to add cheese but i'm true to my roots keep it basic but nice and obviously this household is not in the business of wasting food so and we don't really like the stem in this so what we like to do is just sort of carve it out right and then once we've carved it out and it looks like this we proceed to slice it and then we add this into our slaw i probably will need to get a bigger bowl to be honest this one looks like it will not do in terms of capacity Right, and then we carry on again, just slice it in the middle, turn it to its side, I mean to its back, and then proceed to slice again. I know that there's like other traditional food to make in Zimbabwe, such as sabza, um, I could have made that, but I am probably be the worst in Barbara when it comes to making salsa. As I said, this is supposed to feed a family of four. So um, really and truly just, just, it really depends how much your family eat. But um, yeah, I, I would say the average family or average people for could probably have this and be okay. So I'm just going to add the last apple now because that is not enough. Right, so now that we've got all our apples in our bowl and we got all our cabbage and our carrots just gonna mix it up in there and then um really and truly any mayonnaise can work right so we're just going to dump all of it in there just like that right that looks like a good amount um, get your wooden spoon and just sort of just mix it. Scoop it around, fold it, and then half it. That way you know that you've got all of it. That's how I make my slaw. Right, so after we do that, some people like to leave it in the um, fridge for about 10 minutes so that everything sort of, the, so the whole thing becomes more chilled. Um, we probably won't do that because we're really hungry. <laughs> so um, I will probably leave it in the fridge for two minutes, which is 
enough time for me to dish out my food and then add this as a side so and there you guys have it i'm not sure if you can see that my slaw with my rice and peas and some slow cooked um chicken bites okay thank you guys for watching